Okay, so I'm going to finish off this mill scene. Uh, we started this in class. Uh, it's a tricky scene, there's a lot going on here. It's all this negative painting around here, there's these reflections which are always a nightmare. There's foliage which we need to deal with by not painting every leaf. And we didn't quite get it finished, so I thought I would finish it off now. And I'll post the video. Okay, right, so what should we do? I'm thinking... I'm thinking I should just have a go at some of this foliage. Actually, no, maybe this, so this is white paper down here, pretty much. And it's reflecting the sky, but I think it's a little too bright. In general, reflections, the light things reflect slightly darker. So we might put just probably a, a, a bluish wash over this just to take the edge off, just darken slightly this paper. Um, we don't need much detail in there. So let's have a, a blue. So my blue I used, I think I used cobalt for my sky. I want to make it slightly darker, but I also want to make it slightly grayer. We look here down here, this is the blue of the sky, it's, it's slightly, it's not like dull because it's a reflection. So I'm going to add in just a little bit of black, just to take some of the brightness out of that colour. And I would normally do a little swatch here. I'll keep this fairly white and I've gone over the edges there. Just slapped some colour down there and I'm washing my brush. Now to damp with a little bit of water on it just to soften these edges. So I take the water off to soften these top edges. I don't want to get too much of a blossom in there. Just soften these top edges. It hasn't dried, it hasn't dried. Just, just to take a little bit of that colour out. I think that's good. That's all that I really want to do, I think. Just having a quick look at it. Just a little more colour around there. Right. Let me get a bit of colour in here. Damp clean brush just to soften those edges. That's it. I'm going to gloss on this, but no, that's fine. Right, so that's brush that went quickly. This isn't going to be the most brilliant painting in the world, but it's got what I um, hoped to do with. Yeah, so the problem with these sort of fairly complicated scenes is simplifying them enough that they will make a good image as well as being representational of the, of the subject. And this, I like to, I like to reduce it to this big shape, so we have our lightest sky shape, and then sort of a mid-value reflection shape, background trees which are slightly darker, and then the final shape which is going kind to of everything across the middle, and the foliage down the side is what I call the detail shape, where all the, the interest and the highest contrast is. But I aim to keep the main values of the other shapes pretty close, and I think it managed, I think it managed that. Maybe these trees could be slightly darker. This reflection shape's looking good. Well, we need to finish the foliage. Negative painting went fairly well. So let's, let's have a go at this foliage. This is tricky because there's a lot going on in there. We don't want to paint every leaf. But we do want to make it look like foliage. Now, we have this kind of fairly bright mid-value green in there. But in the photo, there's a lot of darkness in there. So I want to layer over that with a slightly darker colour. 
just to put some depth into those leaves down there. The ones at the edges will probably leave pretty much as is, but then darken down in depths here. So we've got a darkish green. So I'm going to start with my lemon here then. I'm going to make that into a nice olive green with some black. Then a little bit of blue. It's more black to darken this down. It should be fairly dark. Yeah, and that's it. So a nice deep green. Just so start painting on here the dark areas. Actually, I think I might just lighten that slightly. Down here, it's really, all of it's pretty dark. So let's start just putting in dark shapes, leaving some of the underlying not showing. Mostly colouring, colouring in some of the ones there. Putting in dark shapes to reflect this dense foliage down here. Now I'm conscious that the light is coming onto the front above and to the right, so the shadows are fairly deep down here. And this again is pretty much negative painting. I'm painting the dark bits in between the leaves. Just bits that I leave show up the stalks, um, leaves, other bits and pieces. So the stalky bits down here are all just a little bit dark, this is mostly light. And I'm just using the photo really as a guide as to where the dark pieces are. This is looking a little choppy, which is fine. You can always come back and glaze, glaze over that to stop it looking choppy later. Slight value changes down in these dark pieces. So, at a distance, they read branches, leaves. These are looking very white, these branch pieces, but that's fine. If it's white, we can always make it darker. If we go too dark too much, too quickly, we can't bring it back again. Few dark bits underneath these leaves. I'll probably come back in, maybe a few more little dark bits in there. It's not looking. Fantastic, but I think it will eventually work. Little clumps of dark up here. Some dark here. Rush of stuff. So up here. I think I probably want to go fairly dark as I go up because I want this, this foliage to stand out in front of that mill. I don't know if that's going to work well. I don't know, maybe I should put a little bit of dark.
just kind of glancing at the photo just to roughly see where the darks are but I'm not certainly not looking at the exact positions of things. So the dark just inside. Let's see if that works. Let's dry White bits tend to stand out a lot. You don't need them very, very wide to be able to read as much as white in there, so I'm going to get much lighter green out kind of yellow as well so I'm going to use some yellow in here just to think that's it a little too a little bit more water in there. Just a slight value change as the colour builds on what's already down there. It's reducing the size of these white pieces. The further you get into the painting, the more jarring. Very rarely draw anything that looks like a leaf. Yes, these little marks are nice, but not big enough to read it's the kind of leaves that they are. It is slightly bigger. I'm not drawing any joining on stalks, so I don't really need those. That's not bad. It's not probably be a little darker, so I'm gonna leave it that for now. Just so you can see where Leaf cluster might be nice. So this will come through these branches. It's lovely. There'll be some shadows, some stuff overlapping it, etc. I think they they work well to bring the whole bush forward. Okay. Well, I think that's good. It a little bit more value change up here. Something a little darker. I leave it slightly light over there, but as it goes back towards the edge of the paper. Just kind of darken it a little to give it a bit of contrast. Let's go up into the 
root, which is light. A bit dark at the edge. Just looking back at the screen to see what it's doing. It probably needs to be darker down here, but I think that's a bit of dark. Mostly the lights. Not sure about that actually, but anyway, it's in now. Right, it's a bit more up here. Get that down a bit, bring that front on to the sides. And of those background trees. Okay, right. Just gonna get up, stand back, and see what it looks like. Yeah, it's okay. I've lost some of the definition there, but it'll it'll do. See, while I'm here, I think I will just glaze over this piece. Yeah, I think I probably want a brownish grey to do that. So a little bit of ultramarine and a little bit of burnt sienna. Just to darken this. Just keep some of those sparkles coming through. It's fairly watery, it's faint, so it glazes over, just darkens it all slightly, but everything else is showing through. It's keeping a little bit of our picture. Just smooth a few edges. This is going to be hard. Hard edge, that is. Right. Okay. Yeah. All right. Now, we can pleased with that, but I'm going to have to leave it. There's a few more sparkles in here that I want to get rid of into these bushes with some white paper. Sometimes the white paper can be nice around edges of the water. It just provides a bit of separation. In this case, I think it's detracting. So just it's a very light wash of that browny grey, just taking, taking the colour out of it. Check out that white. Better. Okay. Right. Now I need to put a little more detail in the mill cell. But I think I'm going to do something with these trees. I, I do want a really distinct value change there. I think they need to go just slightly darker. But I don't want that much more detail in there. So I'm going to mix up again another green, so my lemon yellow, my black, and a little bit of blue. I'm hoping this is going to work. I just want to wash a colour over much all of the trees. It will take it slightly darker. Just a bit of a darker side. 
but it will compress the values a little. I was thinking it's for a background, so it's just a little too much. Value difference between the lights and darks there. I'll still be able to see that there's something going on back there, but I'm thinking it'll flatten it out of it and push it back. I think I might just keep these edges this So I think that's better, isn't it? Some of these, I know I just said I want to make this less contrast, which is one thing I saw this roof is not. Not level. That's a bit better. Okay. Now. Now I think I'm. I think I'm probably good with that. Again, I'm just going to leap up. And See what it looks like from a distance. Oops. All right, let's see what it looks like. Yeah, I think I think that's better. So Certainly, yeah. I don't think I'm going to do any more on it anyway. Right, let's finish off with some more. Now, overdue painting I think works well. Maybe a little more depth in these bushes. They're a little too bright, I think. So it's a trusty olive green with a little bit blue in. Just a few areas. So, Contrast of the face. A little more sure about that. Just smoothing it out with a damp brush. I thought we were demanding too much attention. Yeah. That will have to do is let's have a go at these uh, the rest of the mill. No. I'm going to change my brush here to a uh, small flat. I think this is, what's it say? This is a number six still, that is quarter inch flat. Synthetic. It's a flat brush, so you don't need a fancy sable for this kind of thing. Let's mix up a brownie gray. I'm going to put some detail in. On these roofs. I think this one works okay. Let's put a bit more. I mustn't overdo this. And it's quite watery, this. So it's going to be fairly pale. You really don't need much of a mark to show something going on here. So I'm putting most of these horizontal lines in, but I'm not. I'm leaving them quite chopped. Very continuous line there. I'm 
goes there, I'm going to straight down. Let's see where it comes from. I could be a little bit painless to it. Just to make it look a little like a roof. No roof tiles. Yeah, they are tiles. A little like roof tiles in there. I need much. That's enough. There's a window in there, too, so two minds of two windows to put in before. There that's it. Nothing more. Two minds. Maybe I'm just going to try. It's a nice vertical. Just a few of them. Start making it look like actual stripes. Underneath, just to define the edge of that one. No, 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 Sharply defined. Uh, I notice it's actually a shadow of that thing. So. Smoothing the shadow. I'm wondering whether to tighten up this wheel. I kind of like the way it's sketchy. Yeah. I feel it lacks, lacks definition in a couple of areas. I just think this is very dark thing. Just want to sharpen up some of these triangular bits of the wheel. Just to make sure that these struts are straight. Make it too defined. I don't want to make it look. So it's just some corners here and there. Just a bit of sharpening up. This, this straight, so just a little bit. Just to make sure. Right, that's better, isn't it? Yeah. I don't think it needs much more than that. Just put it over here. Uh, just kind of just a bit more. Just kind of down. I have no idea what's going on. Just painting shapes. Right. 
from me able to do this. This sound is actually up from here. I really can't see what this is. These windows here are the danger of moving the So these windows are standing out a bit too much. So a little more detail in that just to kind of stop them looking so stark. Should I go? So every time I do something else, you say, oh, we have to do this then. Right, it off, it off. Okay. No, is there anything else? So we're very close. We're kind of not standing out too much. This wall over the right hand side is something. Not too much. So maybe the value is slightly off. Yeah. Of course, it turns it maybe to darken in there, but I don't think it needs it. Let's stand back for something wonky. I think I've actually ruined it for you, haven't you? Dang! Let's kind of take the value down on these bits here. Shortened it up, which has actually emphasised the bits that are wrong. Okay, right. And I think, I think I'm done with this now. I think, ah, oh, maybe I should put just a little bit from that. Side here, so you're looking a little, little bare. There is some dark down at the base where the grass hits the water. Let's put some of that in. Don't want to make it too shouty there. Let's see. Some dips and dabs. Damp brush. Down a little bit there. Coded. Yes. Okay. okay. I think I'm going to stop because I'm going to stop. There's loads of other things I've got. I think I need a bit of 
Okay, let's try it. In there. Just to encourage those reflections a little bit better, but I think, I think I'm done. Just put the brush down and get the brush down. Right, okay. Painting finished with.